Hi guys, so today I'm coming to you because I have an e.l.f. haul for you. Now I had asked on Instagram if anybody wanted to see what I had purchased in my latest e.l.f. haul and I got a resounding yes. So if you want to see what I got, just keep on watching. First items I picked up I have been wanting since I saw e.l.f. announce them on their Facebook page. Now I was going to buy them instantly, but I kind of wanted to see swatches and reviews of them first to see if they were worth, you know, the shipping and everything for them. Now I went ahead and I picked up Headliner and Superstar after seeing quite a few reviews and how much people love them and they are truly very pigmented. I am actually wearing headliner today. I don't know if you guys can see it just because of the lighting, but it is a very nice pink flush of the skin. And I picked up Superstar, which is a, you know, a vibrant, more pink color, but still more wearable than some of the other shades like Encore. And those are bright and bold shades this is you do and for the makeup forever. HD blushes and I really think they are. I've swatched those. I've actually almost purchased them before and look how pigmented that is. And that is a tiny bit. And that's the one I'm wearing today. That is headliner. And let me swatch Superstar next to it for you guys. And that is headliner. It's more of a corally color, but it's still, you know, pink based, obviously. And it is so pigmented. I really recommend both of these. They are so nice and there's so much pigmentation to them. It's going to take you a long time to get through these. And on sticking on the topic of blushes, I picked up the e.l.f. Baked Blush in Passion Pink. And I really love the veining in this. Now, usually when I get a marbleized product, you know, there'll be chunks of like, say, the pink versus the tannish color. And there'll be more of the tan than the pink. And it doesn't complement my skin that well. Now, this one, I don't know about other ones, how they're made. This one actually has really great distribution of veining. And I will go ahead and show you guys the color. I stayed away from the lighter shades because I am so fair. It would just be like a highlighter on me. But this one is a very pretty flush of pink. And obviously you will not need a highlighter with this because of the sheen. But build it up a little bit for you guys. And it looks like that. And I really like that one. Now I probably will pick up one more. I hope they bring these to Targets because, you know... Waiting for orders and stuff like that, I'm not really too fond of, but I hope, El you know, I hope Elf will ship them to Target so that more people can get their hands on them. This item I picked up is the Elf Maximum Coverage Concealer, and I got it in the shade Sand. Now, I have the Card Candy Glamouflage, and I actually don't like that one because I feel like it is too thick, and I have dry skin. Now, maybe for someone who has oily skin, they might like it more, but for me, I don't like it. The texture is too thick as well. And I picked up this one, and I actually think the texture on this one is better. So I would actually recommend this one for dry-skinned individuals. And the shade matches perfectly. And like I said, I can't tell you guys how well it's going to hold up. I will let you guys know if I end up liking it for, you know, the longevity and stuff. But for the texture-wise and all that and the way it applied, it applied very nicely. And I do like the coverage. The next item I picked up is the Contouring Blush and Bronzing Cream. Now, I picked this up out of curiosity. And because of the fact I really do love cream products and... In books and stuff I've read since I was like 19, they always say you can contour with a cream. And this I really like. I used the contouring cream today. It doesn't make me muddy. I actually like it better than their bronzing duo they have that is powder. And that is what the contouring cream looks like. It's very, very nice and very, very smooth. So it's going to go on nicely. I am actually wearing it today, and I really like the effect of it. I did not use the blush, obviously, side because I have so many blush products to try out. But it's beautiful. I just watched it right now, and I That's really, so like I really, it. really recommend this if you guys can get your hands on it. Now I haven't seen this product sold out, so they should still have it. I didn't check that today. Just check the HD blushes for you guys. But I really recommend this. I know I picked up is the tone correcting powder, and I got this after so many people talking about the other one, the one that has the more pastel shades in it and I got the one in warm and now I know about color correcting and all that but honestly I didn't really see it do that much for my skin I will tell you guys I do have neutral based skin so I don't know what this would really do for me but for me I didn't really see anything great happen from trying it out this morning but I will let you guys know but if you guys are curious maybe if you had more you know pink tone skin this might do something for you this item I picked up is actually a brush. Now, I meant to get the small stippling brush, but I accidentally got the regular <laughs> stippling brush. They are sold out of the small one, so I will probably just get that later if I ever order anything else. But for the most part, I did get everything I want. my haul. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what I do really recommend just off of trying them. The first thing is the contouring blush and bronzing cream. I really recommend this. I love the consistency of them and the fact that even on my pale skin, it's not muddy looking. The next ones, of course, are the HD blushes, especially in Headliner, which I think is a great wearable everyday shade, and Superstar. And the Baked Blush in Passion Pink. Now, I think this one leaves a great sheen to your skin, and it's just enough pigmentation where it's not overpowering, and there's not too much shimmer to it. So I really like those. So I really recommend those. So I hope you guys do try them out. If you do, let me know in the comment section below. If you love them, let me know in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed my haul, and I will talk to you next time.